Welcome, everybody, to another episode of Books and Betches. Not to be confused with Books and... Sisters! <laughs> I like that one. Yes! <laughs> I'm Kristen, and with me I have... Erica! And Maria. Yes, Erica! Maybe having you think about it beforehand... I needed three seconds! <laughs> <laughs> Don't need we, it! I gave her it three doesn't, seconds. Doesn't, you know, there's, we also still record, like, all day, so she has all day to think about yeah, it. Just, yeah, true. Um, uh, no excuse. You just suck. <laughs> I have the retention of a gnat. <laughs> yeah. So. Facts. A gnat. I haven't heard of that one yet. And usually I hear goldfish. G. 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 N. A. T. Yeah. G. N. A. T. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This is a book podcast normally. Um, normally. But. <laughs> normally. The next like eight podcasts <laughs> <laughs> is a free for all. Right. Erica, explain what's going on. Okay. So I am nine months pregnant right now. Like I am ready to pop this she baby out. At soon. any point. It could I happen am, today. I am. Stop <laughs> saying this. <laughs> Everybody who's been saying it's like, oh, what if she has it on the podcast? Stop. I'm like, don't die. put those vibes in here. I literally have, like, I am almost 38 weeks pregnant. So you're full, like, I'm technically full term. You have, usually you have the baby between like 39 and 40. Okay. Mm-hmm. Those, like, you typically. But I could have the baby at any point of yeah. this uh, right now. So what the we've decided. I'm getting from this freaking baby. And we're only saying this once, okay? I'm not going to say this at the top of every episode, but I will probably give some sort of spiel because that's just who I am. But this is why. This is why. So we are going to record as many episodes as humanly possible in one day. Things Our are outfits get- will not change. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> For the next eight weeks, we're going to be in this outfit. <laughs> But we're basically just going to record. My asked me, she's like, are you going to change your outfits? I'm like, fuck no. <laughs> I brought a t-shirt just in case I got hot in the sweatshirt, but that's the only yeah, like, variation. Yeah, no, yeah. I'm staying um, like this. I like my outfit today. I, I, like I, I like this sweatshirt. This is my pregnancy sweatshirt. It's I got like, like it. little looks very here. Adidas. It, it's, it's very people Adidas. can't see. It is yeah. Adidas. Okay. All day I dream about sports. That's not what Sex. some of down said. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Um, but yeah, so we're trying to get all of these episodes done so that when I have the baby, we could just like <laughs> preload them and just like, yeah, disseminate them as I disseminate. <laughs> what? Word of the day. Good word. <laughs> um, so you're going to notice a lot of movie episodes, a few like, Cause we smaller... couldn't read this many books. We, we fuck it. We, we, it was only four weeks. Like we don't like read mad. so many books. Nobody's upset. Uh, I you sound like you're defending I'm, yourself. I am defending ready. myself. It's okay. You're going to have a baby. But anyways, we go on a hiatus during um, the Christmas season anyways. We've done this the last two years, so... Damn. Two years. I was saying this before the <laughs> Maria episode. Was mid- years, Maria yeah. was mid- I was saying drink. this before the episode. We're up until our... At the end of this month is our three-year anniversary. That's wild. Three? Yeah. Or two. 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 Two-year anniversary. Two. Because we started... Come. Three years of the pod. <laughs> three years of the pandemic. Two years yes. of the pod. Yes. So... We started this podcast... At the end of October, early November. November of 2020. Wow. Yeah, so two years. So it'll be two official years. So we've gone through two full seasons. The fact of that we Christmas. actually did it is wild. Okay. Um this I know, right? The fact that we continue this Yeah. Like every every month I think is this so month yeah, we'll be, we stop forever. We can't. <laughs> we'll be on our third year of podcasting, but, but that's kind we're of we're podcasters. Damn. Yeah, I do, when I do hashtag stuff, I do hashtag women who podcast. Love that. Wow. Yeah. wow. Hashtag women empowerment. Well, this first one is we're kicking it off with a movie episode. A, because it's relevant. B, B because, because we haven't read other books. Because <laughs> <laughs> this is. It's, and we like, we're, we oh, are, we're TV people. Honestly, yeah. this is a perfect, it's my one of my favorite movies of all time. Ooh. It, is it really? Is the sequel. Of all time. The first yes. one is your favorite movie of um, one of my, my favorite ones of all time. Okay. Yes, it's in my top ten. I love that. I agree. I there's a reason why I have a party around it every fucking year. You're right. Kristen. And if you haven't read the title <laughs> of this video or this podcast, we're talking hocus pocus, hocus baby. Pocus. And also, if you picked up on Erica saying sisters, <laughs> then you would know it's immediately. <laughs> hocus pocus. <laughs> sisters. We all watched hocus pocus too. Yeah. How I watched it the day it came out. Did you? Yeah, immediately. I was going to, but it didn't work out. But I ended up watching like a couple days later. But how are we feeling about it? I liked it. A lot I had a mixed reviews out you there. You can't take it as what it was. From yeah. Like, you can't take the 90s version and put it next to this version and say that they're related. Correct. They're not. They're, it's a whole different Disney. It's a whole different world. But I appreciate the nostalgia 
I appreciate the, the nods spin on and it. The nods to the old one. Yeah, like the funny mm-hmm. moments in there, like when Sarah and and girl pass by and they see Hocus Pocus one on the TV. <laughs> yeah. One, I was like, why are you doing that? That doesn't make sense. <laughs> Two, I'm like, eh, it's Disney. It's fine. It is. I honestly, I I really liked it. I thought right? it like overall and not like getting into the nitty gritty of like the story or anything like that. I thought it was a great movie. I yeah. thought it was really well done. I liked that they kept some of the more adult humor in it and mm-hmm. I liked that they didn't shy away like for me I was like oh it's going to be so Disney that like yeah. it, there's going to be no mention of like lighting the candle yeah, as a virgin, a virgin. Yep. and they did not shy away from that nope. at all like the guy was like oh I can't light that candle like <laughs> they even like made hints at it yeah. and I really loved that I think that. they knew when they made this like yeah they're going to have a new audience coming in but yeah. they're catering to us oh for sure yeah because so. They're, the kids these days they're gonna be like oh what, what the fuck is this yeah the kids these days like, have they been might forced know. to watch it by their parents oh yeah it's definitely the older crowd do you guys do you guys know anything about pokemon it's okay if you don't because yeah, i don't i don't I mean, either a, a i wasn't a pokemon kid growing up i was a Yu-Gi-Oh kid oh fair. i mean what Me do you too. what's the what's the connection yeah so they released a new trailer for the new pokemon game and the trailer is like five minutes long and the amount of times they hone five in they were like trailer yeah but they were like but we know if you've been here before, you already know this. And they kept drilling it and drilling it being like, basically they were saying, we know a bunch of 30 year olds are watching this and they already know everything about Pokemon. But we also have a younger audience that like we have to cater to. Yeah. I like that. The And I'm like, oh my God, this is getting annoying just in the trailer. Mm-hmm. I like that Hocus well, five Pocus. Five minutes of it. It's a little intense. Yeah. <laughs> it was a game trailer. trailer. They were just like showing how the five game. Five minute trailers are a try. No. Yeah. No. But I like that Hocus Pocus was like it it did both well like it wasn't in your face i don't know i i think like my niece can sit down and watch this and be entertained and my and my my uh sister-in-law can't my too. biggest problem honestly of the entire movie which is so Sorry. superficial and so surface level was sarah jessica parker's makeup oh my god yes <laughs> like what what why was someone it so dark was inter- pissed at her someone <laughs> had to have just like it was a sabotage because her eyebrows like, were not like that in the why? 90s i didn't even know they this. made them blocky as fuck really but it yeah. looked like I it was like notice. connected yes. here like yes I didn't. I understand. was very upset about it. Um, I think we should do a sixty second just because a they're funny and b I'm doing the a b thing a lot today. I guess. Yeah. And also because um there might be people who haven't seen it and don't feel like sure. watching it and okay. are gonna come here. Okay. Well, Maria, I, since I it's your favorite it. movie of all time, I have to do season for Hocus Pocus too. Yeah, it's your favorite movie of all okay. time. Do you I'm remember what happens? Names. Yeah, I remember what happens. It's oh, pretty. Names are hard. Names are hard. But I can do it. Okay. Uh, if you're new to this podcast, we do this thing where we attempt to explain the entire plot summary of a book or a movie <laughs> in 60 seconds or less. Uh, this week, Maria is going to do Hocus Pocus 2. If you haven't seen it yet, I'm going to give you a warning now. We do spoil everything. Um, we're going to we're gonna swear. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, Maria, you ready? Yeah. Ready to spoil this movie? Do you have a timer at all? Or are you no. just going to let me go? I was just going <laughs> to guess. <laughs> I realize it says the time on the camera. Oh, you could do that on the camera, but you're going to just be looking at yourself weird. You're right. You're right. Okay. Um, Maria, on your mark. Get set. Go. Okay. We have, I can't remember, can't remember the teenagers, teenagers girl's name, but we have our main girl and her friend and her third friend. They have kind of not on the outs, but every year on her birthday for Halloween, they have this little like ritual thing, but they go to the magic shop. They get the, this candle from the magic shop owner who happens to be in the old Sanderson sisters house. So they get this candle, they light it, and then the, the sisters come back. They have a great musical number. And the girls are basically like, oh, my God, we're back. going to steal the souls of children. And uh, the whole movie is basically about them, like, sisterhood. And, and, 30 and seconds. And uh, the girls, you know, they, she, she's, just, she's a witch because she's 16th birthday. And on the 16th birthday, the witches have their powers. And it's just that, them running away from, from Bette Midler. And How does it end? Uh, the girl, oh, well, basically they, defe- they defeat them. <laughs> the, the sisters. <laughs> nice, the sisters. nice. And first, basically, okay. God damn it, Bette Midler's character. Uh, Got five she more wants, seconds. She wants full power, but the the price of it is to lose her sisters. But she doesn't want to lose her sisters, so she gets like she's like, fine, I'll take it back, and then All she right. goes away. Okay. That wasn't your best. <laughs> no, it wasn't because I didn't want to do it today. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta say. uh the way this movie opened, which you didn't mention, which you didn't need to mention in your sixth prologue. Seconds. It was a prologue. Yeah, it was a <laughs> prologue. Um, we got the the sisters as kids. Mm-hmm. Whoever that actress is that played Bette Miller's ca- character, 
fucking nailed it. Yeah. So she good. played Winifred. Holy really well. shit! So the good. only thing is that Winifred has an English accent, sort of, and little kid didn't. I don't even care. She was I so cared. good. She kind of cared. Okay, but she was really, really good. But also the two little sisters too. They did yes. great. They all encompassed they the, so the sisters very well. That was my first note when I was watching it. I was like, I actually feel like I'm sitting down and watching those kids, like them as younger. And I was yeah. like, dang, they did Felt this. Real. They did this really well. I thought they casted that perfectly. I want to redo my sixty seconds. No, no, it was bad. Yeah, it's done. yeah it's welcome done. to the club. You finally had it's a bad the first six- one of the day. Yeah, but you are always good. Okay, I'm always good at it. I know. So I wrote the first note that I wrote was about the kids, right, and how good they were. And I was like, I like that they actually had kids playing kids. And then I wrote, Oh wait, never mind, because then we cut to our main characters, who are like the teenagers. Mm-hmm. They felt like teenagers, but they also felt older, like nineteen, twenty, like they usually do. What Disney usually no, does. She feels seventeen so. to me. Did she? Yeah. Some of them felt old, like the boy, the guys in the um, school. Some of I, them I felt older. I wasn't thinking about them. Yeah, I don't know. But our main girls, they felt like 16, 17 year yeah, olds. Yeah, I guess so. I don't know. I don't think I thought about it. Yeah, I guess. Well, I, it was only because I had written down like, oh my God, these kids are actually kids. I love that they, they did that. And then we cut to like this other. I think juxtaposed to the other ones. Yeah. They seem younger. Well, which they should, I guess. Um, I love that they had. It's got a six point two out of ten on IMDb. Yeah, I'm seeing such mixed emotions. I think people are going in there expecting '90s Disney, and it's not. Well, you can't expect you that. can't expect that, so they can't get mad at. What it. do we think the difference is? This is what, uh, like like this is what we need to get into. What was Becca, so her name is Becca? Okay, what was so girl. special, Maria, about the first Hocus Pocus? What dark. makes it, it what was it fucking is? Dark. Yeah, it was dark. Disney back then was dark. It was dark. What do you mean dark? Like they remember like don't look under the bed oh my god yes <laughs> leslie hates that movie it was my favorite Fucking love that but movie. hocus pocus didn't feel that dark to me yeah it did okay yeah. it was darker into, give me some like the, the the humor itself also wasn't mm-hmm. like this slapstick sort of like in your face like i'm making Bingo. a joke you know mm-hmm. it was more it was more subtle you had to think about it and you had their like also sarah being so weird on the teenage kids that's kind of you I know? think what missed for me a little bit, and again, like, I I don't think this is a huge detractor of it, is that, like, they made it so that it was, like, all of their jokes, not j- not just, like, the jokes, but, like, their, it felt like they took the characters and just plopped them in, like, a new setting. Yeah. Like, they took the sisters mm-hmm. and they were just like, all right, here's new age shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's like what the story was kind of like being in in like Mm -hmm. the CVS or whatever. Like to me, it was just kind of like very like good of enough. It was Walgreens. It was Walgreens. Like it was just like very gimmicky. It was very like gimmicky in that. It was very gimmicky because you don't think they had creams and stuff in the 90s. Yeah, that's as a good if point. lotions and stuff are didn't a Walgreens new thing? exist in yes. the 90s? Yes. Yeah, like it was just like a little like so that's it's a solid you know how point. it felt like we they talk made about them look this in books. Than they actually are, and the girls aren't that dumb. Yeah. But like we talk about this in books where we hate when um like Tinder's mentioned or yes. like mm. um romance tropes or like mm-hmm. something that's so like over the head. Mm-hmm um that's like hey that we're in we're in 2022 yeah and that's how it felt like it felt like they like took these characters and they're like all right you're in 2022 now like fucking act like it i think they had and it was just like uh i think that the the way you know this focus to me is timeless yes you don't know necessarily that's 1998 yeah you know it's a while ago yeah but imagine being a witch in you know the 90s getting killed and then coming back and you're in a completely different world i imagine like i I think there should have been references to it but i do agree with you i don't think it needed to be the entire focus of the film which that's what it felt felt like like it it was was, yeah at some points especially with like the hoover vacuums which honestly i thought was so funny (laughs) the roombas yeah the roombas. listen because she had a vacuum well they had the hocus pocus yes i thought that that was so clever and i like how and the salt circle yes i thought the salt yeah I thought those were that was great okay so going back to the 90s versus now I've thought about this a lot um Mm -hmm. I noticed it in Spongebob when Spongebob first came out it's so different to how it is now seriously watch a new Spongebob Mm -hmm. episode you'll Mm -hmm. be like why is this not what it used to be Mm -hmm. and I think what it comes down to is things were slower in the 90s the jokes took their times it's the same with stand-up comedians the minute they came out and it was a musical number immediately. Oh, I wrote that down. I too. was like, oh, this is what we're doing. Why was it? a mu- The first one wasn't a musical, right? 
the what there was one song in the first one was there was that at the end uh, which is i'll the, put a spell on which you. is oh, them yeah. putting a spell on everyone which made sense yes in this case they just popped back up and all of a sudden it's a musical no, number. but they they sang in the sh- in the movie because they were like it was in the 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 scene what yeah that's what we're saying what are you talking about i'm talking about the fact that in this new version the first thing we see of them when they get like regenerated is them singing a random musical number. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, but it wasn't like for anything. Exactly. Which yeah, is why it I'm, didn't like, make it versus sense. the other one that it yeah. was in a, a scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and they, were they were singing putting a spell. That's on what people. I'm saying that this is the the perfect example of how this is 2022 Disney. Yeah. And then 1992, 1993 Disney is completely different. Well, they know that music sells. That's the thing. Well, if they're going to get those little kids. But I did. I have to say, I did laugh out loud a few times. I thought that the movie was funny. I thought there well, were some anything, cute parts. I think you have Bet. You have a. Yes. You, you Bet Midler. Midler who's Midler's like. the freaking best. She's like one she of carries, the greatest. She carries it. Oh, my God. She carries was the, the show, man. She was the whole show. I forgot that the other two were even in it. Minus no, the I love Mary. Lady. I yeah, yeah. love Mary. Is that Mary? Mary? Yeah. Mary. I don't funny. care for Sarah I, Jessica Parker. I, Sarah was my favorite growing up. I just don't care for her in general. She was fun in other She was like the second when she was stupid and she was like so fun. my problem with mary is like i know she was bigger in the other one and she's lost a lot of weight she lost a lot of weight which is fine like not like obviously doesn't matter um but <laughs> she just had the fate that like the whole That's time thing. no i know but like it just didn't work with like a skinnier <laughs> face <laughs> and, and it just teeth. looked it looked more like forced on her face yeah. versus when her face was a little like bigger more rounder it yeah. was like more naturally like yeah and it was less like is she actually like that in real life or is that her no, that's, no, that's, no, no. that's mary that's uh, mary's character like it, sure. it looked a little like less dramatic on her face mm-hmm. in the previous one mm-hmm. and in this one it looked like she was like yeah. <sighs> like she was like trying to like it wasn't like a natural like yeah, it would look yeah. like a very forced yeah like I facial you. expression I, I feel like the story itself um was kind of weird right because like even when you get to the end of your 60 seconds you're like i don't really know what happened because like not a lot did happen but that's it's hard to put this into a six second because i feel like we're continuing from the first one right so if you don't know about the first one then this one doesn't make sense but which how does it relate it so like there's a i don't get the black how are there so many black flames like well that's uh, i think an answer that we need from the guy i can't remember the the hold on i have his name the shopkeeper the shopkeeper gilbert yeah gilbert um, he is a magic shop owner and he had seen the witches 30 years prior when they were first trying to get um, Max and his sister and all that stuff back in the, in the 93 version. Yeah. So he, I don't know how he got the black flame candle, but he made one. Yeah. Okay. And so he wanted to bring them back cause he, you know, liked them, but he how did they come thing. back in the nineties? Like I know he, the, Max. I know Max lit the candle, Yeah. but like where did that candle come from? It was always there. Oh, Okay. So because at that point, the house was just a historical place. It was yeah. a museum. Yeah. It wasn't a shop. Okay. So in this one, it's actually a shop. What are yeah. You looking at? Oh, she, Erica's pulling up the picture of Mary. Oh, it's on a different side. Yep. It was on a different side. Yep. And what do you mean? That's the same side. This is to the right. Oh, I see. I see. Left. I see. But it also, you see what I mean? Mary's lips, everyone, for those who are not listening or not watching. <laughs> like that kind of just looked like a natural like yep. tick. Yep. And this looks like she had too much plastic surgery. Mm. Yeah, I could see that. Yep. I see what you mean. But I still love Mary. It's so distracting. Care. True. Um, so the 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 black flame is <laughs> sidebar. Yeah, Jesus sidebar. Christ. <laughs> um, so we don't actually know where it came from in I general. Don't think so. Like we don't know how it's made or anything. I imagine we know there's going to the be box another box at one. the end. Yeah, we know there's going to be another hocus pocus. How many fucking virgins? <laughs> <laughs> Kidding. <laughs> How many virgins are left in high school these days? Oh, you know what's funny? I had I was telling myself like maybe I won't sit and watch the credits, but I was like, but now Disney owns Marvel and they think they can do it. There was a skip credits button. It was awesome. Was it? Yeah, I hit I hit skip credits and it brought me right to the fucking cut scene. I just I just I fast forward. I was like, they're going to do something. So So fast forward. For those of you who I just let it play because I'm lazy and it like started and I was like, wait a minute, like. For those of you who what? don't know, um, you know how Marvel does their little cut scenes at the end of credits. Uh, Hocus Pocus also decided to do that as well. And the, the cut scene 
is i'm spoiling spoiling this so if you haven't seen it yet go back and watch it the cut scene is uh cobweb the black cat that Good name. Lisa, my favorite character i could watch a whole movie about cobweb <laughs> um he jumps up and he's next to a box that's labeled bf number two which yep. we assume black is flame. black flame number yep. two right um <laughs> so they're coming so back. like I think one of my biggest pet peeves in like the entire I swear universe. To God, if you say the cat, I'll no, 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 jump no. across this. My, one of my biggest, one of my biggest pet peeves in the universe is when you go to a Marvel movie in the theater oh, yeah. and people get up immediately after the movie ends. Well, they don't either. They don't know or they don't. Oh, they How don't do you care. not fucking know by now? It's to been like be fair, twenty years I've done of Marvel it. movies. I've done it before. What Some do you don't mean? care? I've seen a movie twice. Where I went back and I was like, oh, that movie was really good. I want to watch it again. But you've already seen the cut scene. You're not going to stay through the... People go and see these movies like three or four times. Sure, but usually I'm seeing a Marvel movie within the first week. Okay, but I'm just saying like people... Or or they're like, I'm going to go look this up later. I don't want to be stuck in fucking traffic or deal with these fucking nerds, these sweaty nerds who are going to go out at the same time as me. I don't give a fuck about these people. I'm going to go home and watch it on the computer. That's a weird thing to I'm get judging. About. I'm <laughs> judging them to like the highest degree. I've done it before. I've left before cut scenes. I don't well, give a fuck. Well, then uh, you're part of the judgment zone. <laughs> I don't know why it just drives me fucking insane. Like I want to be like, you do know there's more, right? They like, probably do. You do know there's they more. They probably do. People probably just don't care. Or, That's the thing. Or when they don't wait for the second one. It's like, also, why it does takes, it bother you so much? All it takes is for you to Google and be like, there's two scenes. But like you're sitting there. I don't know. To watch it. I don't know why it bothers <laughs> me so much. It's one. It, pet peeves don't make Honestly, sense. <laughs> I just hearing her pet peeves makes me feel better about my pet peeves that I think are ridiculous. Yeah. Because hers are worse. Yeah. That's pretty bad. It triggers me. Okay, well, were you happy to see a cutscene at the end of Hocus Pocus? I was pleasantly surprised. <laughs> <laughs> Are we all going to watch the next one? Of course. I, I don't. To. I don't I know. What, what I didn't like, though, is that people didn't tell me there was a fucking extra credit scene. Maria told me, thank God. Uh, yeah, I I that think. I did not fucking well, like. I, I, at the I time did not that appreciate I was... that nobody fucking mentioned <laughs> Maria there was an extra me. scene. Well, why thank didn't you, you Google it? <laughs> <laughs> But but that's not Did a Marvel movie. Believe? It's not Did a Marvel movie. Believe? It's Disney. Disney owns Disney. Marvel. Yeah, I, yeah, but like <laughs> those things don't correlate anymore. It correlated with me. That's why I skipped the credit. Yeah, I'm judging you so hard right now. <laughs> Would you walk out? I know I sat she there too lazy I sat the there room. I sat there and didn't touch my television like a lazy piece of shit what that did I you, am did you watch the credits yeah because I, well, I didn't watch it I was just on my on phone, phone like scrolling oh, okay. okay that's better than sitting there and reading like it. listening sure to like the watch fucking next. you have so many problems like <laughs> More more than I care to <laughs> account for. <laughs> what was I saying before Ooh, that? I don't know, but it was probably going to be good and, and <laughs> <laughs> actually contribute to the conversation. Uh, uh, I don't think we need a three. I <laughs> I don't think we need a three either. I don't think we I'm need, indifferent. I mean, we how old, how old we is need Bette There's Midler. answers. Like, Wait, yeah, we, all, we all wanted a two, right? But we wanted a two about 15 years ago. That's true. But I'm if correct me if I'm wrong here, but I believe Sarah Jessica Parker did not want to do Hocus Pocus two because she did not like Hocus Pocus one. Really? Yeah, she didn't. Apparently, from what I remember of articles I read years ago, she wasn't a fan of the movie. She didn't like the movie. She wow. felt like it was a bad movie of hers, and she didn't want to relive it. That's but wild. us here thinking it's a cult classic. Now we're like, please give us Hocus Pocus two. Yeah. But now I feel like it's too late. I yeah. love the movie. Yeah. I'm not saying I don't. How like old it. do you think Sarah Jessica Parker is? 58 Shh, probably yeah 57 wow i was close that was a guess Good job thank you what about bet? um bet 61 61 62 70 Not 75 what she looks great for good 75. for her what about the other one kathy is 65 oh wow they're great they're great Looking good great. for them oh sorry 76 bet midler 76 dang girl she looks beautiful for 76 actually she's turning 77 in december and she sounds amazing too like the singing was actually really good she I love Bette Midler. <laughs> like, Bette Midler carries that but movie. But that's what I'm saying. Me. That's why it made it all fine for me. Like, the movie, while it wasn't the best, I was entertained. I had yeah. fun. And I guess let's do a little quick review, like, for, you know, people who saw it who might have the same feelings as us. I know a lot of people didn't like it, and a lot of people liked it. I have not heard anybody say they loved it. Mm -hmm. I will say. And I'm right there. I enjoyed it for what it was. For what it was. But yeah. will I ever sit at Halloween and watch Hocus Pocus 2 no. every year? 
No. But I will my always niece watch might. Hocus Pocus 1. I will watch the first one over and over and over again. Yeah. Every year. Like, I'm, I'm planning on having a little party, like, maybe next week, if you guys What about Halloween Town? Do you like that one? I love Halloween Do Town. Do you? I never yes. hear Didn't you talk about that. Halloween or Halloween Town Hocus too? Pocus, to me, is better than Halloween Town. Halloween okay. Town. Fair. Th- I always forget how to spell Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, <laughs> we. I know, but then I get I get there and I go, is it A A or O? And then Hello. I and then I start typing it out. and I'm like, that doesn't look right. And then I type the other one. I go, that doesn't look right either. I actually have like, to say neither, that neither yeah. of them look right. I say that in my head. Hello, I can't spell every business. Biz in this. Bus. I have to do that. I ness. Connect. I cut. Yes, Connecticut. Connecticut. I know. That's how I, I know we that learned. Way. Okay. Well, I didn't grow up here. Oh, true. <laughs> true, right. true. New Hampshire. <laughs> um. Oh fuck. What were we? I oh, cannot Halloween spell town. Massachusetts. Gun to my head, couldn't spell No, it. I couldn't either. Why would they put their gun to your head for that? <laughs> <laughs> spell Massachusetts, bitch. <laughs> you Fuck, spell me or die. M-A. Anyway, Halloween Just Town. <laughs> so that's a perfect example also of the old Disney movies at 8 p.m. every night, right? Yeah. So I used to have a bedtime at 8 p.m. when I was a kid. Uh-huh. And I had to beg my parents every October beg because every night disney was putting their movies don't look under the bed mm. my mom was on a date with a vampire oh um halloween town what was the other one there were more the 31 days of halloween yeah and so those movies from back then in the 90s and early early 2000s were my favorite time of disney i love that and you were such and you were a kid too and, you and i so... watch halloween town every year too yeah i think the moral of the story is hocus pocus 2 is fine if you love hocus pocus 1 i think it's worth watching because at least you get back into that world you have to watch books like you get bet midler like you really can't love it get i i don't know i can't complain um so that's really the moral of the story erica did you want to add anything else before we wrap this up no oh okay cool nice maria i'm good okay awesome no more thoughts (laughs) just thoughts and prayers (laughs) Uh, (laughs) if uh if you keep following us these next few weeks like we said earlier bear with us a lot of movies a lot of fun little things coming up but we do have a couple surprises so get ready for that yeah we have a special guest coming we're talking about a special book we have special things happening um that's it See you next week and Bye. follow us on Instagram, books underscore and underscore batches, B E T C H E S. Like all the things. Follow us on YouTube. Go subscribe there. Just look up books and batches and we'll see you next week. Bye bye, guys. Bye-bye.